Okay, today we're going to do part 2 of 6.2 and today we're going to cover something known as the general term. So, when we expand this uh, binomials, there may be many terms, but sometimes we do not want to find all the terms. So maybe we want the middle term, we want the fifth term, maybe we just want the eighth term and so on and so forth. So in those cases, what we can do is to apply something called the general term. General term is given by T r plus 1 is equals to n choose r a to the power of n minus r b to the power of r okay not to worry so much i will show you i know it's just n and r for the moment i will use some examples to show you how this actually works so let me start on example 9 so in example 9 what we have is that they want to find the fifth term itself so fifth term so I'm trying to find the fifth term, T5. To use the general term formula, always write it as R plus 1. What do I mean? So if I want to find the fifth term, which is denoted by what I've written here, what I should be writing is the T4 uh, plus 1, or R plus 1. Which means that for the fifth term, the R value will be 4. So again, if I write uh, above, okay, the general term T, uh, TR plus 1 is N choose R uh, A to the power of uh, N minus R B to the power of R. So if we want to find the fifth term T4 plus 1, the R value is equal to 4. So right here, T4 plus 1. Okay, what's the value of N? The N value here is uh, 8. So what I can write is 8 choose R, my R value is 4 in this case. Then A to the power of N minus R, what is A? A is the first term here, 1. N minus R, so it's 8 minus 4. Then the B term is negative 2, X, R, R is 4. So all these terms are related, so R, N minus R, so R is 4, n minus r is 8 minus 4, and here's r is 4. Just plug it in. So what will happen here is, if you simplify everything, I'll get 1, 1, 2, 0, x to the power of 4. Hence, the fifth term is 1, 1, 2, 0, x to the power of 4. Okay, part 2. If I'm trying to find the uh, term, the coefficient of x cubed, so if I just think about x cubed, so I use tr plus 1. So tr plus 1, I don't know what the r value is. So a choose r, uh, a, n minus r. I don't know what the r is yet. Negative 2x to the power of r. So if I'm thinking, okay, let me just put here. So this is r, this is r, this is 8 minus r, this is r. If I want the term in x cubed, what I need is for there's no x terms here. This is the only term that produces the x. So quite clearly, in this case, I'll need to generate in such a way that my r value here is 3. If this term here is cubed, then I generate the x cubed term. So I'll replace all the r's by 3. So by logic, I know that this r right at the very end should be the value of 3. So if I start to erase, I replace the value of 3 here, I will replace the value of 3, I replace the value of 3, and I replace the value of 3 here. So basically the fourth term will give me the coefficient of x cubed. So if I work everything out, I get negative 448 x cubed. We answer the question, so the coefficient of x cubed is negative 4, 4, 8. Okay, try 9. I suggest that you just uh, pause the video now, take out a piece of paper, work it out on your iPad, and um, do this question. Let me just um, not expand it down for you. And now move on to the answers in 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Okay, to find the 8th term, so what we'll do here is we use tr plus 1. So quite obviously to get the 8th term, 7 plus 1 is 8. So my r value in this case is 7. So 14 through 7 
1 to the power of 14 minus 7 x squared to the power of 7 which is seen here if you use your calculator everything is computed correctly the 8th term will be 3432 x to the power of 14 similarly for part 2 itself part 2 is a coefficient of x to the power of 10 Okay, we need to work backwards here so it's similar to what we did earlier so it's t r plus 1 okay is equals to uh, 14 choose r i maybe i just do not know the value of r yet so it is 1 to the power of 14 minus r then the b term is uh, x squared to the power of r so if i'm actually looking for the coefficient of x to the power of 10 so i by observation i see quite obviously in order for me to get the power of 10 what happens here is that 2 times 5 will give me 10 so it's quite clear to me that here the r value should be 5 so i just go backwards i erase this is power 5 and then 14 minus 5 14 choose 5 so here i will replace it with 5 so the sixth term will give me uh, the coefficient of x to the power of 10 so what happens here is this if you use calculator to work it out what you should get is 2002 x to the power of 10 so to answer the question the coefficient of x to the power of 10 is 2002 Okay, now I'm going to do example 10. Example 10, there are quite a few uh, examples as A, B, and C. I will <coughs> excuse me. I'll cover each of them separately. So I'll start with part A first. So if you have power of 10, first you need to know how many terms there are in order to find the middle term. Let me give you a clue. If I have A plus B square, I get A square plus 2AB plus B square. What is the power here? 2. How many terms are there? 3. So, similarly, if I have a plus b to the power of 3, I'll have 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. There's always one more term than the power. So, in this case, if, in this case, if it's power 10, what I'll end up with is that we'll have with 11 terms. So, 11 terms, we have 5, 1, and 5. 11 terms. The middle term will be the sixth term. So for sixth term, my r value is 5 because t5 plus 1 will give me the sixth term in itself. So now let me try to find the sixth term. So t to the power t6, or I write it in the tr plus 1 way, t5 plus 1 is what is my n value in this case? The n value is 10 choose 5 then we have 2 to the power of n minus 5 so it's 10 n minus r 10 minus 5 and then b term is x square over 2 to the power of 5 if you work everything out you should get 2 5 2 x to the power of 10 okay. I move on to B, the term independent of X. Okay, this is where we need to use uh, some working out to see where we can get the term that's independent of X. So we work with the TR plus 1 term. Okay, so we have uh, 12, choose R. The A term is 2X to the power of uh, 12 minus R. And negative 1 over X squared to the power of R. Okay, in order uh, to find the term that's independent of x, I need to get a term that has x to the power of 0. Okay, so if I want to get the x to the power of 0, I just simply look at the powers in x. Okay, so now what I look here is this. This term over here gives me x to the power of 12 minus r. Okay, and this term here gives me 1 over x to the power of 2r. Okay, when you open up the, when you simplify, what you get is x over 1 over 
x to the power of 2r. So basically put, what I want right is to find the powers in x. So simply here we have x over 2r times 1 over x to the power of 2r. So if I'm looking for the powers in x, okay, so this will simplify to 12 minus r over x to the power of 2r. Mm, don't worry, I'm just ignoring all these other numbers first. We just look at um, the terms in x first. So I get this x to the power of 12 minus r minus 2r equals to 12 minus 3r. So what I'll do here is this. Let me just make this a bit smaller. So I will resize this. So I know that the powers in x is 12 minus 3r. So I will say this. The powers in uh, of x is equal to 12 minus 3r. So if I want it to be independent of x, what I want is the power of x to be equal to 0. Hence, 12 minus 3r equals to 0. I solve my r value equals to 4. Then I can put it back into my equation. The general term, uh, the, the what expression for the general term, so you have t4 plus 1 is equals to 12 choose 4. 2x to the power of 12 minus 4, negative 1 over x squared to the power of 4. If you work everything out there, what you get is uh, 1, 2, 6, 7, 2, 0 x to the power of 0 and um, that is a term that's independent of x okay part c part c they want <coughs> the term in 1 over x to the power of 15 take note of this 1 over x to the power of 15 can be expressed as x to the power of uh, x to the power of negative 15 okay so now what i do here is this First, I write out the general term, so it's tr plus 1, so it's 12, choose r, a is 2x, 2x to the power of uh, 12 minus r, then negative 1 over x squared to the power of r. Again, I focus on the, what I call the uh, powers in x, so I just go back to my previous working there, so in my previous working, we did this, then we know that the powers of x it will give me 12 minus 3r. So I will not repeat what I did in part b, this is the same, uh, is it the same question? Yeah, it's the same question actually, it's 2x minus 1 over x squared to the power of 12. So powers in x, or powers of x equals to 12 minus 3r. Part b and part c actually uses the same what I call uh, binomial so i <coughs> excuse me so i will not bother to um, show you how to get the powers in x again so in this case what i'm looking for is x to the power of negative 15 so 12 minus 3r is equal to negative 15 then if i solve this i'll get my r value is equal to 9 so i put it back into my uh, general term t9 plus 1 is 12 choose 9 2x to the power of 12 minus 9, 1 minus x squared to the power of 9. If you work everything out, you should get negative 1760x to the power of 15. Okay, please take some time to try 10, and after that I shall move on. So try 10, it's over here. Pause the video, give it a shot, and I'll continue in 3. 2, 1, let's go. So for try 10, what uh, we want to find is the middle term. If there are, is to the power of 6 means there are 7 terms. 7 terms implying 3, 1, 3. The middle term is the 4th term. So I use R which is 3 plus 1. So what I do is I put in the value of r is equal to 3 into my general term over here and I will get <coughs> negative 160x to the power of 9. Okay, for part b, what we'll get here is this a term independent of x. So if I write out the general term, 
first then I look for the powers in X so from here I get X okay, let me write it out X to the power of 2 times 9 minus R okay be very careful about these two brackets here okay times 1 over X to the power of R so if I simplify that I get X to the power of 18 minus 2 R over x to the power of r so i get x to the power of 18 minus 3 r hence okay my powers of x in this case is 18 minus 3 r and for it to be independent of x it should be equal to zero solving my r value equals to six i put it into my general term over here the term independent of x is five three seven six okay and this concludes part two thank you for 